Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Drake Array Gaming. Today, we're going to be talking about the final part of increasing your FPS in Warzone. I think so. We might do a part five. But uh, we're going to be talking in video control panel as well as a few other settings. Um, and it's the final settings that will really help increase your FPS, especially if you're running in video graphics card, because they have an in-tune, in-depth system that needs to be configured. And if you don't do it, it will suck up resources and it will decrease your FPS. So as usual, no BS, no fluff. Here we go. Join me now as we enter the NVIDIA control panel. Right click on your desktop, hit NVIDIA control panel. Bushkis, it comes up. Let's look at this. I'm gonna run through all the settings I have and I recommend them. And my buddy Migs helped me set them up. He's awesome. He's, he's absolutely cracked at Warzone. 10 to 30 kill games. He's my dub city brother. So let's go through here. So he actually had me uh, switch over to here in adjust image settings with preview and switch this to performance, hit apply down here, and then you can switch back to use the advanced 3D image settings. Okay, that was the first thing we did. Manage 3D settings. We went through everything in here. We turned everything off, everything, except using all CUDA GPUs, fixed refresh rate, making sure it was on the right graphics card, setting all preferences to prefer maximum performance, application controlled for the preferred refresh rate on my monitor, high performance, Allow texture fil filtering on uh, LOD BIOS. And we got auto on threaded optimization, depending on the app and everything else here. And everything else is pretty much off. Now these are key settings that you need to do. S look at that. Look at that. Set them to this. Uh, we don't need to do this uh, for the configure surround physics. So resolution, make sure that's in your native or, na or resolution that you want to run in the game. Native or below, your refresh rate's correct. And make sure it's on the right monitor here. Uh, we also change these things here. So I'm on highest 32-bit depth with an 8 BPC, 10 if you can, depending on your monitor, RGP in full. Adjust desktop color settings. Um, something we changed here was the digital vibrance. Now, this can really help with FPS and seeing the rose skins and other dark skins in Warzone, so check this out. Um, this can really help you out. Um, and these are my current settings for this. You want me to spend a bunch of time on here telling you A, B, C, D, F, G, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? I didn't think so. Let's go to the next thing. Pause the video if you need to. Those are my settings. Uh, the rotational display, don't need to worry about. HTCP status, don't need to worry about. Um, G-Sync. Now, G-Sync is a preference. You can run that if you want. You cannot... We, uh, pfft, the people I know and the pros that are running 250 to two, uh, 240 to 360 uh, hertz and FPS, like, they don't run it. You can run it if you want to. It's preference. This really is preference. It's like curved screen versus flat screen and G-Sync versus... It's, it's all preference. Uh, I like both. I just tend to not run it because it's extra resources and stuff. I just don't use it. Um, now, you can adjust your video color settings as well as your video image settings. Now, these can make a huge difference. Now, I recommend, because this is already running and taking up resources, to utilize this other than uh, NVIDIA overlay display. Now, NVIDIA overlay display will... It's in GeForce Experience, and it will take up uh, extra resources. Now, I do have it installed. I was using it. It was problematic with Warzone initially. Now, it's not so problematic. If you go in here, you go to Settings. Uh, you can go to your games and uh, apps or account. What is it? General. Okay, right here uh, in In-Game Overlay. Now, if you enable this, uh, you can push Alt plus Z. It brings up a menu. You can add filters and, and sharpening and all this other stuff I've done videos on prior. And, and it will help uh, clarify things. But that's an extra application that you're running, right? Um, and what you can do, I'm going to exit that. But this is already running in the background in Video Control Panel. So you can really adjust and set up your settings here as well as in-game and get a clearer, more picture without uh, it taking additional resources off your PC. For, so every little resource counts on Warzone, and you're going to get increased FPS every single time, no matter what you do. Uh, as uh, when you're cleaning up your, your PC and making sure it runs properly. So thank you again. This was part four of making sure you have the FPS you need in Wars and all these pieces are super critical. We're probably going to do a part five. I'm going to revert back to uh, some really secret settings that I use too, especially depending on what CPU you have and some other knowledge. So stay tuned for part five. As usual, no BS, no fluff. I'm Drake Array. I'm here to help the gaming community and I'll see you next time.